What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Lux, back again. Also, AKA the Merry Gamer. Let me not forget to include that. All right. EA, EA, EA. Once again, the more I play this game, the more I find some, some critical oversights in the coding, um, just the glitch in the game, or whatever you, whatever you want to call it. The, today's video is going to be about the created boxer, with the, it's going to be about boxer share. Alright, so let's jump right into it. Alright, so luckily this video is not geared towards the gameplay. This is more or less uh, just an issue that, that that's nagging me because I really enjoy the boxer share feature. I enjoy creating boxers. I enjoy downloading other people's boxers that are, that are very arc, uh, accurate. But in this case, I think we're getting, we're not getting what's advertised. And what I mean by that is, you guys remember in the demo, and as a matter of fact, even on the retail version, if you go into the manual for the video game uh, that's in the menu here, which is, let's see if I can find it. It's probably in my corner, I believe. Uh, yeah, game manual. Actually, I could have hit the back button. All right, let's go to the back button. All right, Fight Night Champion Manual. All right, so let's go to, let me see where, let me just, I don't know, it's not really in the table of contents, but I'm going to find this for you. Right here. Okay, you see up at the top, it says create boxer. And what it says below that is create your own legend by customizing his appearance, accessories, fighting style, block style, stance, and signature punch style. Now here's the part that I really want you to pay a special attention to. Up to 97 custom boxers can be saved. Let me repeat that. Up to 97 custom boxers can be saved. Uh, go to Boxer Gallery to view your boxers. All right, so now we got the details out the way. That's, that's official, that's from EA Sports, that's in the game manual, that's, on, that's the virtual game manual that's on the game. All right, so let me go to Boxer Share. Uh, let me go to Edit Boxer. This is where you'll be able to find uh, if you've been downloading or creating boxes, this is where you'll be able to find. So right here, <clears throat> the view that you see is on the, uh, this is all, this is everything. This is the retail uh, license boxers and all of the created boxers that I have downloaded all together. So it's 170. But if I hit the left trigger, it only filters things out by the boxers that have uh, been downloaded or created by myself. I've created about, uh, about three or four different boxes on here, but that's really not the point. The point is, and remember in the game manual, I said that they can only, we can save up to 97, right? Okay, so I have 85 right now. All right, so I'm well within my 97 limit. And I believe the reason for 97 is because they have to hold out three slots because of the, uh, the online world championship where you have a, a heavyweight, middleweight, and a lightweight or something like that. But anyway, so 97 is the number that we have capped for uh, created boxes. So I have 85, right? All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna actually leave the game. I'm gonna back out of the game. And the problem that, that I'm having, and I, this is, all of this sparked from the issue of, um, I was on the forum the other day. Uh, it's probably been about a month ago, maybe a little bit longer. And it may have been EA's forum. And there was somebody that had a post about their uh, they seem to be losing custom boxers, their created boxers, everything keeps going back to 74. And they knew that they had more boxers than that, that that were downloaded. So I was like, that never really, you know, caught my attention. But then, you know, over the course of, you know, different days when I played the game and I go to my custom boxers and I look, I will see, I was always in the 70s and I'm like, I thought I maybe had more boxes than that downloaded. Right, let me cut this down a little bit. So I thought I, I thought I had more than that downloaded, but it never really bothered me or really, you know, stood out that much because I mean, that's a that's a pretty high number, and there was no way I can go back and try to figure out if I had that many boxes, you know, which ones were missing. Because uh, sometimes I download boxes and I look at them once I download them, I'm like, uh, this didn't look as good as I thought, and I go ahead and delete it. So, you know, I figured it was just a matter of me just not really paying attention to how many I actually had downloaded before I cut the game off. But today, I did pay attention to it because last night when I was playing, I downloaded a whole bunch of boxes because I noticed I was at 74. 
I was like, hmm, now I know I have more than 74 downloaded, but I never kept a count of what that number was. So what I did was I downloaded a whole bunch of boxes last night. I downloaded, which gave me up to 85, which is what you just seen a while ago because I re-downloaded all those same boxes. Okay. So here we go. I'm gonna go to Boxer Shed. Now remember, from the EA online virtual manual for the Fight Night Champion, it says we can save up to 97 custom boxers. And if you remember, I had a total of 85 that I had already uh, downloaded, right? So I'm well within my 97. So now let's go and check out how many custom boxers I have now after I've restarted the game. Boom! 74 boxers. So EA. I'm going to put this, and if anybody who sees this video, please, you know, link it to the forums on EA for Fight Night Champions so that the devs can see this. Because, I mean, it's an issue. I'm noticing a lot of little nagging issues with this game that are starting to really bother me. And, you know, this is one of them. You know, don't advertise that we can save up to 97 boxers, which is awesome. But then you don't deliver. There's, there's, there's a flaw in, in the way the game is coded, which I'm sure it can be fixed via a patch or a tuner update or something like that. Probably a patch. But you see right now, you can only save up to 74 boxers. It doesn't let you save beyond that. Then you can save more. You can save up to 97 boxers while you're playing the game. But the moment you cut the game off and restart it, it's going to revert back to 74. So the, the most previous 74 boxes that you have, that's what you're going to get. And, and that bothers me because I, you know, there's so many different weight classes in this game. For example, they have a, a bantam weight or a fly weight in here that they're, they have zero boxers uh, for the, the retail version of the game in that class. So you have to go in and, and you know, go in the boxer share and, you know, find boxers that are set for the fly weight class and then you just download them. So then pretty much every boxer in the fly weight class is going to be a custom boxer. And you know, and then the Bantam weights, they only give you uh, one boxer. I mean, it's, it's just a lot of look, look stuff that you would think a big company like EA with the, with the amount of resources that they have, they would you know, know better than to put out a product that, that, that will come across as like, you know, kind of like half, half aid. I don't want to say the cuss word, but they, they kind of, they, they really did a half, half job on that. I mean, I understand there's, you know, different things you got to work out with boxers with the contracts and, and what they want EA to pay them to sign on to use their likeness with the game. I understand all that. I really do. But at some point you have to make, you have to, you know, kind of think reasonably about this. Don't think gamers would be just happy to see, okay, well, we have a, a band of weight division, but wait a minute, there's only one boxer in there. I mean, what, what good is that going to do? Yeah, I can, you know, fight up or down a weight class, but I don't want to do that. I mean, I'd, I'd rather have, you know, apples to apples comparison to have band of weights fighting band of weights. But anyway, that, that, that was just another thing that bothers me. So, you know, EA, you need to fix this because right now, as it stands, we're about, what, 23 boxes short? I mean, you're shortchanging me 23 boxes, and and that's that's a lot of you know extra boxes I could download to really uh, boost up the roster in in all my weight classes. Uh, so, you know, like I said, anybody who uh, is watching this video, if you're also going on the EA's uh, forums for Fight Night Champion, you know, link this video to it, and you know, so that they can have some some line of sight to what's going on with their game. And then the last thing that I'm going to bring back up is because th this, this is still a critical issue is that the custom boxes, every, all of their cuts and swelling goes back to 99. And, and you know, people are saying that the reason EA knows that and the reason that they say that is because uh, when you send your boxer through the legacy mode, then their cut and their swelling ratings go down. I mean, that's fine if, for the legacy boxer, but... If that's the case, then why even allow us to uh, have a slider for the cut and swelling? So let me just, let me go to my Roberto Duran. I mean, not Roberto Duran, but my, uh, uh, what's that dude's name I created? I had to sit here and draw a blank. Oh, uh, Ray Boom Boom Mancini. So I created Ray Boom Boom Mancini, uh, pretty much the, the only decent one that's out there for the 360. Here's my Ray Boom Boom Mancini. <clears throat> Alright, so we let this load up. 
And I don't even know if the tuner update is even going live yet. Because, I mean, you see that stuff over there, that little icon that keeps saying that it's saving, like it's looking for something. It's been like that all day. So here's my Ray Boom Boom Mancini. I, I think he looks, looks pretty good, you know. But anyway, let, let's get to why I want to go here. All right, there's his skills or whatever. All right, so now, right here. This is what people are saying that when you're going through legacy mode, so if I took my Ray Boom Boom Mancini through the legacy mode, as he's fighting and, and, and you know conditioning and all these different things throughout his career, his uh, cuts and swelling uh, ratings would start to uh, adjust depending on the damage that I take in fights. So and then, so what that does when I go and fight with my Ray Boom Boom Mancini in the fight now mode, then whatever his cut and swelling ratings uh, were from the legacy mode will actually carry over, so he won't be a 99 and a 99. That's fine. I, I understand the logic in that. But what I don't understand is, if you're giving me a slider on my custom box so that I can give him a rating of whatever I want to give him, you know, and I know Ray Boom Boom Mancini, he used to get cut up. So if I want to give him like a 78 for cuts and an 80 for swelling, and I save this, I should be able to fight in the fight now mode that should have no link with the with the legacy mode unless i take this boxer through there and by the way when you take your boxer through legacy mode i think it also creates a custom boxer slot for them so it's, it's i still don't understand why this is happening so let's go back and check my ray boom boom mancini again and we're going to see if that 80 that 78 for cuts and 80 for swelling that i gave him we're going to see if it if it stayed. You see, I have a lot of boxes. As, as you see, I, I take advantage of this, but I like this mode where I can save all these boxes and, you know, customize them and everything. But, you know, if you have certain parts of the feature that's broken, then hey. And I have another video coming up after this or something else about the boxer share. Uh, I just didn't want to cram a lot of stuff in one video because I wanted to get a lot of attention based on its own video. All right, see, there we go. Look, cuts and swelling. Jump right back up to 99. So, again, my, my thing to EA, if, the, if this is the case, if you know this and you're not going to change it, then don't even give us a freaking slider to where we can adjust it. That's why I think that this is an error that EA doesn't mean for this to be like this. I think they really meant for you to make your own custom cuts and swelling rating uh, for your creative boxer. And then for those that you, the boxers that you take through legacy mode, they have a different type of way that they're going to have their cut and swelling ratings uh, measured. So, you know, EA, please, you know, provide a patch, do a tuner update, whatever it takes to give the gamers what we want. Because we want to be able to fight with our custom boxers against these, against the licensed boxers and have, you know, pretty accurate uh, cut and swelling uh, effects in the game based on the sliders that we give them. Uh, I don't think it's any fun for you to play with, against a licensed boxer and you know, you're, you're fighting him and they're busted wide open but you know they're tagging you with good shots and they're, I mean, they're nailing you with some good counter punches, some good power shots and all you see is those little reddish bruises on your face that really don't even look that good to be honest and then you get like, you know, little red stuff around your eyes look like you're on crack or whatever. I mean, so we really want to have this feature, these ratings adjust it and stay and, and actually be affected when we play in the fight now mode. That's all we ask. That's all we ask. All right, this is your boy. I know that was a long video, but I wanted to make sure I, I bring as much attention to some of these things as possible. Because uh, I think a lot of times the devs, they get inundated with so many people whining about, you know, the same things over and over. Or, and, or some people just don't know how to articulate what they want addressed and fixed and they just come off as very immature and they don't understand how you have to you have to one show respect you have to be respectable to the people that you're talking to in order for them to you know respect you back and, and take your concerns seriously if you're just calling people names and saying they suck and doing all this I mean what do you what I mean they're people too I understand they work for this big company and they should be held to a high high standard of providing you with the best service but at the end of the day, they're people just like you. And if you keep attacking them, you know, corporately or personally, I mean, you know, sometimes you may not have your, your issue addressed or your concern resolved. So, you know, EA, you know, please take serious consideration into adjusting these boxer ratings for cut and swelling. 
and also uh, fix the the amount of boxers that you can save on the uh, boxer share which is capping everything at 74 and once you reset the game you're just stuck with 74 you don't get the full 97 it's your boy mr lux aka the merry gamer i'm out